Hello everybody who's watching, it's the Game Inquisition here. And I decided to make a Minecraft sort of let's play slash tutorial for those who don't know how to play Minecraft and also who want to watch me play Minecraft. Now, I'm going to create a world. No cheats, no this bonus chest, just a little default world. So we shall build said world. And here's the world. As you can see, we have cows, we have seeds, we have trees, which is nice. We also have chickens, which is nice. So as you see in our inventory, we got an achievement for opening the inventory. As you can see, we have armor slots, we have your character, a small crafting window, and I believe 40 slots. This bottom bar is your slot where you're able to switch, as you can see. And each key is 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 9. Now firstly, I'm going to go punch wood, because we need wood. We also have some mountains here and a good amount of stone lying around. There's also some coal there. But that's besides the point for the moment. And more chickens. Firstly, what we're going to do is I'm going to punch down a tree. And this is important because wood is your main component in this beginning part of the game. And it's a main component in many different objects. And so as you can see, we just punch the tree. We make one wood log into four planks. Now if we put all four planks and fill up the window, we get a crafting table, which is necessary for all other crafting in the game, because it has a 3x3 three three window, and I will show you that, but first I'm going to do this. So as you can see, if you punch tall grass, you gain seeds. Now what I'm going to do is something I usually do very early in the game if I have access to. I'm going to dig in the ground, and I'm going to build a small hole. And you'll see why I do this. As you know, as you can see also around here, we have animals. There's like this chicken over here, which I'm going to grab. And you see, you see, I'm holding seeds, and he's following me, because chickens like seeds. So I'm going to gather the chickens around here, and I'm going to lead them to this hole. I'm going to shift and push this one in, push this one in, and push, push this one in. There we go. So that, so as you can tell, the reason why I'm doing that is animals don't spawn again. Once you have animals spawn, they don't ever spawn again. So you have to breed them. And chickens breed with seeds. So now I have four seeds. I'm going to right click on them and breed them together. Now I can put them on this crafting table. As you can see, we have a 3x3 three three rather than a 2x2. Two two. So I'm going to put in a block of wood. And if I put two planks on top of each other, then they make sticks. I'm going to make some more planks. If you see, if I put three planks and two sticks, I make a pickaxe. As you can see, pickaxes, the items are shaped, usually how they are made. I'm also going to punch flowers, because I like flowers. Anyway, oh, before I forget, I'm also going to put down some dirt and a flower on top of it. Because I want to remember where this is. But anyway, as you sa met, said, ah, can't talk. As I said, there's coal over here. And I'm going to build my first little hidey hole, as m as many people call it, including Paul Schwartz Jr. He's a personal fan of mine, got me turned on to Minecraft. Ah, more chickens. Actually, this would be a good time to do this. I'm going to put one stick on the bottom and make two. As you can see, this makes the blade and this makes a hilt. And make a sword. So I'm going to quickly punch my crafting table once again. And I'm going to slaughter the spy chickens. And you will hear me say many things that are similar to other YouTubers because I watch them a lot. And I tend to use their lines, but I make my own. So, I'm going to slaughter the chickens. As you can see, you I might have said they don't spawn, but since I have that small pit with chickens in them, I can breed them, which will be easy. And also, we have some sugar cane here, which I'm also going to grab because you need it. Well, not need it this second, but you will need it eventually. I tend to grab whatever I end up seeing around my area. And there's a small cave there. That actually looks like a better place for... Uh, actually, that's a cave. I don't want to go in there. Oh, chicken. Die. Thank you. As you can see, I've got some raw chicken and feathers. You can eat raw chicken, but like in real life, you have a chance of getting salmonella. No. You get hunger, which will make you even more hungry if you do actions that require hunger. So you technically, usually, don't want to eat your chicken raw. Or your food in general raw. You want to cook it. And while you can eat, I believe, steak and pork chops without getting the hunger effect, chicken is a no-no when you're when it's raw. So as you can see, 
The reason why I made this pickaxe is because you, you can punch through stone, but you don't get anything out of it. If I were to break this with a pickaxe, however, I'll get the coal. If I break this stone, I shall gain cobblestone. Uh, so I will continue mining out this coal, because coal is very important. You can make charcoal, but coal, since it's here, I won't have to make charcoal. And I'm also want to grab a little stone. I'm also going to turn this into planks again. And for the moment, I'm going to do a little crafting once I gather a little more stone. So I'm going to gather six stone, and many tools are made the exact same way they are normally. So I'm going to put these sticks here, and I'm going to use three cobblestone and make a stone pickaxe. Now, upgrading your pickaxe doesn't just make it, give it more durability. As you can see, wooden pickaxe, as you guess, is probably the lowest tier, stone being second. And as you can see, I made a stone pickaxe and a stone axe. So if you can see, this is a stone pickaxe is actually faster than a wooden pickaxe, which is very important because you you can need to go through a lot of stone usually. So I'm going to use the wooden pickaxe, so I save the stone pickaxe. But for the moment, I'm just going to continue breaking this coal and gaining more coal. And 12 coal, that's pretty good. But I'm going to quickly leave from here because, for a moment, because I have an axe now. And an axe cuts down, cuts down trees faster than, well, than any other tool. And as you can see, there's more coal lying in the mountains nearby. And as you can see, I'm liking this generation of the world. Because we have some nice hills, we have some animals nearby that are easily gain attainable. Speaking of which, I'll need to grow some wheat, so I'll be able to gain these cows. Because cows are important, because they give you meat and leather. And leather, you need to make things. But also, as you can see, we have a small cave over there. We also have hills with coal in them. Now, unlike the early versions of Minecraft, which I have played, such as the beta and my friend has played alpha dash knock he has. So I'm going to gather some more stuff. As you can see, that tree I chopped down earlier has its leaves have degraded, like in real life, sort of, and they have dropped it. And as you can see, these chickens, they don't always uh, they drop meat. They also drop eggs, which are important to make other things. So for the moment, as you can see, there's a different tree type. That is birch wood. This is oak. So I'm going to continue chopping down these trees and gain more wood because, like I said, wood's important. And let me show you what I've been seeing. As you can see here, if you press escape, you bring up the small menu. And as you can see, you have the achievements menu. And this is sort of a s more way of getting things in real life. <laughs> Not in real life. What am I thinking? Anyway, as you can see, opening your inventory is an achievement, which allows you to get th this achievement, which allows you to get this achievement, which allows you to make this these achievements. And as you can see, they're a bit extensive. And I will get into all this stuff later. For now, it's the basics, which is getting coal, gathering basic materials, like wood, and all that. Because getting in-depth, it takes a bit of more time to do it. And as you can see, as you might have seen, you might see a 2 above my hunger, which is on the right, which is my chicken nuggets, which are my meat popsicles, and also my hearts, which are red. Red are good, black are bad. Because black means empty, which means you've taken damage. And there are more chickens here, and I will slaughter them. Because the hunger, as you can see, I'm down a chicken nugget because I've been doing things. And I always see. <laughs> and usually, if there's a couple of chickens around, there tends to be more, which means lots of feathers for you. And another chicken. Slaughter. As you can see, chickens die in one hit by a wooden sword. Wooden sword is the weakest, but it's good enough for our purposes. And oh, there's some pigs over there. That's nice. Now, as you can see, I'm going to continue chopping down this tree, and that will give me 26 wood. About 16 planks is enough for a full 64 stack of wood. And there's more chickens over here. And since we're still at, where's the sun? As you can see, the clouds actually move north, which is very nice. Ah, <laughs> pig scared me for a moment there. Anyway, die, chicken. Oh, if you saw those narcs, if you jump and hit a mob, you will do a critical hit like that and you will do more damage now for the moment I'm going to gather some dirt oh rather my uh, daisies and I probably will do some bl blast to the past sort of thing where I look back on old minecraft because old minecraft it's much harder it's sort of a survival thing so now I'm going to find those piggies okay piggy go 
in the pit piggy. In the pit. Wow. There we go. So now I need to gain this piggy over there, too. And animals are kind of hard to do like this because, uh... Well, they move. They're sentient. Somewhat. So I'm gonna push this pig in the hole. In the hole, pig. No, pig. Pig. No. They never do what you want, either. Ah, yes. Go towards the hole, pig. Oh, as you can see, it's getting darker out. So I'm going to leave these chickens with their lives for the moment. But first, I'm going to make my small tower with a daisy on it. I'm going to head back to where that coal was, because that's going to be my house for the night. I'm going to grab this cobblestone. Right over there. So now, the cows I will leave out here for the moment. I will gather them later, because I need wheat. Which I will grow at a later date. Anyway, we need to get back there, because... Monsters spawn in the night, and the monsters aren't very nice. They are not nice at all, because they will put arrows in your ass, and also beat you in the face. They just, they, you know, they just suck in general. <laughs> yeah, oh, whoops. Ow. Yeah, there is fall damage, but falling from about that height isn't too bad. I'm going to break this, this scrabble, and build up here. I'm going to... <laughs> Quickly gather some more stone and save my ass. Now, anyway, with some more stone, and let us do this. So now I need to block that. Now we're safe, as long as we're not a skeleton doesn't come up. Now, as you can see, it's getting dark. But if you take a stick and a piece of coal or charcoal, you will make torches. And putting a torch down lights up the area. And monsters can't spawn where it's lit. However, they do spawn during the night, and they can spawn in caves, because it's dark in a cave. Even if it's the daytime, they can spawn in caves. Which is not very good. So I'm going to continue mining at the stone, and I will put down my crafting table here. And now, oh, I require more stone. And now, like I said, I have chicken, but I can't cook it, because I have no way to cook it. That's a problem. I'm going to put that back there, back there, and dig this way. <laughs> I don't want any openings that I don't know of in this house. Well, it's not really a house, anyway. So, as you can see, I have some cobblestone. But if you place a cobblestone in a fashion such as this, like, uh-oh, you'll make a furnace. And a furnace is your go-to for anything, for smelting, anything, that, pretty much anything you could eat. So, I'm going to put down two coal. I'm going to split up chicken. Now, coal smelts eight items per piece of coal. So I usually try to measure out my coal so I don't y waste any. And as you can see, it's going to cook my chicken. And that first coal has filled up these flame bars. And we'll now start cooking chicken. As you can see, I'm down. Chicken. Which is not good. But now, I'm going to continue digging for a little bit. And just hope that I get more stone so I can create more items. I'm also going to use my stone pickets on coal because it will mine faster rather than the wooden. And now, you can actually use your wooden tools to fuel, if you have no coal, you can actually use wooden tools to fuel the furnace. While they don't last as long, they do fuel, and if you have wooden tools that you want to get rid of, you can just plonk them in there, and they'll burn. Which is nice, so you don't have to use them up. So now I'm going to create some more items. So I'm going to use two wooden planks and make a stick. I'm going to use two sticks and two pieces of wood and make a hoe. Because you need a hoe in order to till the land to grow items. I'm also going to use two more coal to make two more torches. As you can see, I almost have my full wet repertoire of tools. But firstly, I'm going to make more sticks. And you can shift click to pull everything you want out of something, or just left click and drag. So I'm going to use this one cobblestone and make a shovel, which digs faster, as you can probably think through dirt. And well, this seems like a good place to... Well, actually, let me explain this real quick. I'm going to grab some of this chicken. As you can see, I went up. Smelting any item in a furnace will give you experience. <coughs> Sorry about that. As you can see, I'm down three and a half nuggets. I'm going to eat a piece of chicken. As you can see, I've now gone up two and a half nuggets. So, cooked chicken restores that much. Some foods restore more, some restore less. Now, 
I'm going to look at, I'm going to be careful here because some of the nasties that spawn aren't very good. As you might imagine. There's a zombie, as you probably imagine, just comes up and punches you in the face. Not a very nice person. Then there's the skeleton, who I mentioned will put arrows in your butt. And you'll have to pull them out. It's very painful. You don't have to actually pull them out, but <laughs> they'll fade after a while, but you'll see that it hurts. And also there is a spider, which will climb walls. So if you build a house, you have to build... Ah, right over there. Right over there, that is a skeleton. And they will hurt you badly. So I'm just going to break this carefully and look around. Ah, there's some zombies over there. And there's that. That is the legend among legends, the true Minecraft mob, the creeper. And he will walk up to you like a zombie, except he doesn't punch you in the face. If you stand around too long, which is about three seconds, he will blow up like a piece of TNT. Oh, and see that light over there? That light is not, I put it there, which means there must be lava over there, which I can use to build things. Which are handy. And also, there's a spider over there. Now, there's also one more mob, which is, oh, there's another one, which is much rarer than all other mobs, and it's a spider jockey, which is basically a skeleton, more chicken, riding a spider, which is, it's very uh, rare chance of happening, but it is kind of a bad mob, because you've got a skeleton with its knockback on arrows, which is kind of ridiculous. Oh, I'll also show this. I will smelt uh, some of these wood planks and charcoal. As you can see, wood tools burn. And while that goes on, I'm going to mine a little stone and create another sword. And yes, they're very rare, but they're annoying because skeletons have knocked back of their arrows. And it seems almost, in, almost hard as hell to beat them and get them. So as you can see, bad things happen here in the night. And I will wait for day, and I will see you all in the next episode, where I will explain more about probably armor and mining, and also maybe some basic combat, possibly. But mostly about the mining and the crafting and the house building a little bit, because I like to build a house early on. Usually I don't, but for this series I'm going to build a little bit, so that way I can show you. But for the moment, I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.